What's going on YouTube? Back with another moto vlog. Just going to ride around. First I got to stop and get gas. She's getting a little low. The whole three dollars and twenty seven cents. I don't have a whole lot to talk about, but I wanted to get out on the bike. What got me back interested was the other day I took my girlfriend out on it, so yes, these groms can ride two people just fine. That was her first time on a bike and she loved it. I didn't change my helmet visor to clear so I'll do a quick uh, ride around like a country block, get some miles in and get back and I'll edit this video. That was actually the most fun I've had on this bike that day I took my girlfriend out. First time I rode two people up on this thing. And I have my helmet set up with Bluetooth so we could talk to each other, so it was actually nice. Weather was too perfect today to not ride. Got home around 6.30. Started charging my GoPro batteries. I said, eh, I was gonna wait till tomorrow night to come out, but staring at my bike, I was like, I need to go out. So here I am. I hope everybody had a good Mother's Day out there. Got to hang out with your moms, celebrate the day together. That's one thing I got to do very soon is get to New York so I can see my parents. It's the only downfall of living 1,300 miles away. You can't just go see them anytime you want. Such nice views out here. I love going over bridges. This bike, as far as mechanically, 
I'm probably going to keep stock. Not like my Z125 where I actually did some work to it and stunted it out. This one I'm just going to ride and enjoy. I might change the levers at some point, that's about it. Only because I don't like these silver levers. I'm looking into buying a better GoPro battery. I forget what you call them, but they're like extended life. So relaxing. Anybody who's thinking about buying a motorcycle and just want to go riding, just do it. You won't regret it. that's weird since I've been down here three years not like upstate New York roads like this a deer would jump out in front of you I swear to god like every five miles if that for here it's like you don't have any issues I don't know I know the deer are smaller and all that but Because of all the building and housing developments, I just got a feeling they get pushed out of the areas. Not enough food for them. Oh, that felt good. Got some spray from the sprinklers. Yeah, just to be out on a bike, oh my god. It's so peaceful. Literally just you the wind and the earth. For me, being in a car, I'm more tense and stressed than when I'm on two wheels. It's just the way it is for me. I feel like I have more control and can see more happening and have more options when I'm on a bike. When you're in a car and something's about to happen, you can only do so many things. Where these are small, any motorcycle really, you can fit between cars if you have to to get out of a situation. And do whatever you need to. A lot of people get so afraid of uh, people drive crazy in Florida and everything else, but they drive crazy everywhere. That's why when you ride, you gotta ride defensive with a little bit of offense in there. But my mind is always so clear on a bike. video edited. Oh, when do I want to upload it? I'll probably skip tomorrow and I'll have this video uploaded for Thursday. So it'll be Thursday when you see this. Right now it's Tuesday, but I don't want to put too many videos up back to back just because I don't want the chance of running out of videos putting them too close together or not being able to get back out and I know I'll be out again on the weekend so this video will go up Thursday and then I'll do one more probably Saturday and get that posted for the weekend try to build my channel back up a couple months I'd like to get at least another 25-30 videos up if not more.
kind of back in the addiction of riding again, so. But yeah, riding two people when I had my girlfriend on the back the other day, we were actually able to hit right around like 53 miles an hour, 54, which in reality at top speed, it's probably about 49, but most of the roads around me aren't that fast anyways. And I wasn't topping it out because we were only going down the road anyways, doing a short trip. So we probably could have hit about 55, which would have resulted, equaled out to be about probably 50 somewhere in that neighborhood which isn't bad for two people so it is doable so you guys with girlfriends this might be the only bike you got not sure if you can ride two people there's room i had to sit a little close to the tank but it doesn't matter to me because i can literally hop on any bike and ride it so i'm comfortable no matter what bike what style what position i'm sitting in i can accommodate I might actually put this video up tonight just to get another one up there because it is only Tuesday and I'll either be going out I would say Thursday I'll be coming back out tomorrow I gotta work late again so if not tomorrow then Thursday I'll get back out do another video and then That'll give me at least three this week to get the channel back up and going. I do have to clean the chain on this here pretty quick because it's been a while since I've done that. Clean it up, re-grease it, and then it should be good for quite a while. It's not like these things have any kind of torque to do any damage. I just want to keep the chain and new condition. Time to go. But anyways, as usual, thanks for watching. And I will be back in a day or two. But this one will go up tonight. So, if you haven't, like and subscribe. Thanks.